The location, a rural primary school in Somerset. The victims, eight-year-old school children who still believe in magic. We've come to this sleepy primary school to give the kids a treat. Magician John's going to play the part of the supply teacher, a magical supply teacher by the name... I have a bumble now. No fidget, Jonathan Allen, and stop bullying the other boys. It's not nice. Good morning, boys and girls. Today, Mr. Bumbledown is going to teach these eight-year-olds a rather unexpected lesson. I'm going to show you something called origami. Now, put your hands up if you know what origami is. Anybody know what origami is? Nobody at all. It's a Japanese art of paper folding. Now, I think I've got the method of how to make a bird out of paper in this book. But it's not on that page. I think it's on page 127, which is... About there, I think. Yeah. The children seem to really like Mr. Bumbledown's method of teaching. Yeah, we are the paper bird. It's very, very difficult. Fortunately, I've actually brought one of these along. It's a very, very special piece of origami. You haven't seen a paper bird. As Mr. Bumbledown searches for his next teaching aid, the children oh, are on the edge of their seats. There it is. There's my origami bird, boys and girls. Now, there's something special about this origami bird, because if you pull the neck, and you pull the tail, his wings flap. Yeah? You have a look, you see the wings flapping? Mr. Bumbledown shows the origami bird to his pupils. I wonder what he's going to do with it next. There's the wings flapping. Now, why do you think his wings have to flap? Yes? Birds have got to fly. Birds have got to fly, that's right. Let's see if this one can fly, should we? Yeah. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. That was very, very good. Well, now, obviously, if you've got a bird like this that can fly, you need to keep him somewhere very, very safe so that he doesn't fly away. Now, what do you call something that you keep a bird in? Yes. A cage. That's right. Now, I've got his little cage here. This is the home for my special little bird. It's called a bird cage. You've got to swing in a mirror because birds love to have a look in a mirror and check that they look all right. And uh, should we put him in? Yeah. All right. Let me... Oh, there he is. That's wonderful. He's happy in there now, I think. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now, has anybody got any questions? 